Jo Leute, herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part Raincoat. Ja, Yuma hat sich Shinigami angeschlossen, ist nun ein Geist. Na, eigentlich ist es eher äh, Vivia Forte, mit der wir ja unseren Körper verlassen konnten und nun als Geist hier alles ermitteln konnten. Wir haben alle Hinweise, die wir finden konnten, wohl gefunden. Also beenden wir die Ermittlung und kehren wohl erstmal wieder zurück in unseren Körper. Ja? That should do it for the investigation. Taking a look around, there aren't any hidden exits or hiding spots. Yeah, the only entrance and exit is that door. There isn't even a single window. There's a small vent, but it's not big enough to fit through. And the cover is fixed in place. There are no suspicious spots on the walls, floor or ceiling. And no secret passages either. And even if you got through the door, there's the dangerous security system. Yeah. So how did the culprit manage to enter the lab? It's the perfect impossible crime! Miss Dearful! Even if it's impossible, I have to solve it. For the Chief's sake and everyone else. For now, let's head back to the security room. I need to tell everyone about what I found. Personally, I want you to gain the willpower to solve it on your own. Will mich jetzt wieder an diesen ganzen Geistern da vorbeischleichen? Ich hoffe nicht. Das war schon nervig genug. Vivia, why are you in your ghost form? I was wondering how your investigation was going. I grew curious. Did you come to help? I didn't expect your cooperation. <sighs> Still, thank you. It's very reassuring. Wait, Master! You shouldn't trust him. He's plotting something. What could he be plotting? Aren't you overthinking things? So, what will you do now? Are you still going to pursue the truth? Huh? Why wouldn't I? I finished investigating the crime scene, so I was about to head back and report to everyone. We need to find the truth. Otherwise, the chief won't get treated, and everyone will be captured. I see. So you won't be satisfied until you discover the truth. What do you mean? Master, watch out! He's plotting something! Tell me, Yuma. Why do you seek the truth? Huh? We have to find the truth to fight the peacekeepers. Well, the truth is like cracks in a mirror. They're all so small, you must squint to see each tiny crack. Most wouldn't even notice them. They think the world reflected in the mirror is reality itself. If you did notice the cracks, would you destroy the mirror to reveal what the real world actually looks like? Even if the moment the mirror is destroyed, it changes the world people can see forever. What, what are you talking about? And if shattering the mirror reveals nothing but darkness and chaos, even then, would you still seek the truth? 
I don't know what will happen when the truth is exposed. But right now, we need the truth to save Chief Yako and everyone from the agency. Everyone, including you, of course. I just want to help others. Are you saying that's wrong? And for that, what will you sacrifice? How much have you already sacrificed? Huh? I bet you're the type who's willing to sacrifice yourself for the truth. One day, it will ruin you. You will destroy the world for truth's sake. M me Destroy the world? That's impossible. No, you've already stepped one foot into ruin. In fact, it's already up to your neck. If possible, I'd like to help you. You are... a dear friend to me. How about it? It's not too late. Why not turn back from this path? You mean... to let us be captured by peacekeepers? That doesn't solve anything! I don't understand what you're saying, Vivia! <sighs> Never mind. We need to report what I discovered to the others. <sighs> so you refuse to understand. You leave me no choice. Vivia? Ah! He took out a blade! This guy is nuts! I usually keep this in my pocket. It's not real. Like the ghost form, it's just a reflection of reality. So, slashing at you won't do anything. But, I warned you, didn't I? While you're in ghost form, your physical body is vulnerable. Y you mean... I was simply returned to my body five seconds before you do, and then... I'll slice your throat open. Given I am more familiar with spectral projection, I'm positive I can return to my body before you can. Well... Will you give up now? Uh, are you threatening me? I only want you to give up on the truth. The truth you wish to expose... is dangerous. I have a feeling... A feeling that our peace and quiet will be pulled right out from under our feet. If you won't stop, then I must stop you. For this world's sake. For the sake of peace and quiet. You're not making any sense! You're gonna kill me because of a feeling? I don't want it to end this way. I thought we could talk it out. That's why I came here. But... you refuse to give up. Which leaves me with no choice. So it looks like this is what I must do. Farewell, Yuma. Wait! Master! Hurry back! Hey, you two. Quit fighting. Who is that? Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. That voice... Chief Yako? <laughs> but you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth, and living a lie, is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? 
When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. Chief Yako, are you all right? Where are you? Impossible. There's no way he could have made it here with those wounds. Then that voice... Perhaps it was his soul's voice as it separated from his body. That means... No way. Is he dead? I don't know. We need to find out. Vivia tried to kill me. Why would he do such a thing? As of now's the time to be dwelling on that. You're right. Chief Yaku is the main concern right now. Not whatever's going on with Vivia. Yup, yup, yup. So go, go, go! Chief Yaku! It appears his soul hasn't been severed yet. It's still connected to his body. But the line is very thin. It could cut away any moment now. Then why did we hear Chief Yako's voice back there? I don't know. It seems there are many more mysterious things in this world that I don't know about. Well, since he went through the trouble of risking his life to give us a lecture, I will sheath my blade. When you're lost, you should believe in your own heart. Vivia, I still have a lot I need to say to you. But solving this case is top priority. This is the only way to save Chief Yako and everyone else. Hmm. Fine. You can report to them once you return to your body. I have somewhere else to go. Where are you going? After hearing the Chief's words, I just remembered. There's something I need to do. What's that? I have a premonition. In exchange for obtaining the truth, I sense that our peace and quiet will crumble away. But perhaps something entirely new lies beyond that destruction. In order to discover what that may be, I want to continue my investigation for a bit longer. It's not that I want the truth. I need to find an answer I can agree to with confidence. I still don't understand most of what you say, but now I know we feel the same way about this. Let's investigate this together. As you wish. Master, don't trust this guy. You can't erase the fact that he flashed a blade at you. I know. I'm not that naive. You sure about that? After all, you're always so trusting and relying on others. I still have a bad feeling about this. That guy is dangerous. Really? I want to believe that it'll be all right now. Ja, ich glaube, äh, Yuma ist doch ein kleines bisschen naiv hin und wieder noch. Das haben wir ja schon zu Genüge gemerkt. Maybe you should wait to go until after you report back to the others. But if I let Vivia go alone now, I get the sense we'll never come to an understanding. I'm sure Vivia has seen something. That's why he's afraid of the truth. I also want to see what he sees. It may help me understand better. 
Are you all right? Did his cryptic way of talking infect you? I hope this isn't a side effect of your coalescence. <sighs> I said I'd continue the investigation. But where do I begin? Huh? I thought you already had a plan. Nope. You don't, huh? If you have any expectations for my actions, then you're in for a disappointment. I'm good at avoiding trouble, but I'm terrible at handling it. I try to stay still and just let things pass. That's the kind of human I am. That's because spectral projection allows him to investigate without moving an inch. So, what have you learned about Dr. Huesca's death? Um, well, I gathered some clues, but I still have no idea how the culprit entered the area. There are only two reasons a mystery goes unsolved. Either there's not enough information, or not enough smarts. There's no point in crying over the ladder. Which means, there's only one thing we can do. Should we search the scene one last time? No. The missing piece might not always be at the crime scene. It could have been launched far away, like pieces of shattered glass. So you're saying we should check somewhere else? I'll let you be our guide here. Uh, but I'd like to request minimal movement. The shortest possible distance. Hey, Master? Are you sure there could be another key to the mystery somewhere else? We did finish investigating the actual crime scene, so it could be a good idea to search elsewhere. We can use spectral projection to enter anywhere and look. Okay, I'm in Why? We don't have much time. We have to check the rooms we can access. Just barge in and check everything! This is the central lab. There might be some clues. Hey, nicht immer dazwischen, Juma. Is it true that Dr. Wesker was killed? Yeah, just like that note said. But why send a death threat? It'd be a lot easier to take someone out if you don't announce it beforehand. It's a hitman we're talking about. Maybe it's his policy or something. That's a good point. What was the purpose of sending that note? Plus, not only was it sent to the targets, the doctor, it was also sent to the peacekeepers and our detective agency. Doing that would just increase security around here, making it even harder for the hitman to do his job. According to my research about Fink, the slaughter artist, he's never sent a note like that in his previous cases. At the very least, it was not his M.O. So, this time is special? Well, who knows? Oh! Hier ist der Borwick. Wie am Privatzimmer, wo er seinen Vorfall gegeben hat, scheint es niemanden zu interessieren. Sie interessieren sich wahrscheinlich mehr für die Forschung als für Menschen. Komm, lass uns woanders suchen. Ja, vermutlich. Es sagt, das ist das elektrische Raum. Vielleicht ist es ein 
Maybe we can find the reason for the blackout here. Let's check it out! You better hurry, or what about over there? It's really true. I saw someone suspicious right here. Was it before or after the blackout? Uh, right after the blackout. I happened to be nearby when the lights went out. So I came here to turn the power back on. And I saw a dark silhouette pass right through the shadows. That doesn't really tell me much. Please believe me, it must have been the hitman. So someone suspicious was wandering around here right after the blackout. Does that mean it was caused by the hitman? Why would he do that? There are a bunch of switchboards. It looks like the lab's power system. If this was shut down, there'd be a power outage in the lab. All of the power to the lab seems to be managed here. Wait. I don't see a switchboard for Dr. Weska's lab. That reminds me. Dr. Weska said the critical lab was on an independent system. This critical lab operates on a separate power system. That obviously includes its security measures. Hmm. I see. That was a rather indifferent response from Vivia. Maybe he's bored with the investigation? Wer sonst noch was? Mehr scheint es hier aber nicht mehr zu geben. Na, gehen wir wohl mal weiter. Da muss immer noch irgendwo was sein. Es wird immer noch was angezeigt. Okay, das ist nur irgendwas Optionales. This reminds me. You went inside Dr. Weska's lab before, right? Yeah, just once. I was forced to help deliver some food to him. I think it was about three months ago. And he's been shut in there since, right? I'd go insane. But the doctor was famous for being antisocial. It was probably the perfect environment for him. Still, this is a bit extreme for the sake of avoiding people. Anyway, when I brought in the food, he made me check inside those boxes repeatedly to make sure no one was inside. Not that there was any space for someone to hide in. The guy was just paranoid like that. Okay, jetzt haben wir hier alles anscheinend gefunden. Da kann ich aber nicht rein. So, what room is this? It seems to be locked. I told you, it's just storage. They keep it locked up because there are some confidential documents inside. Among us researchers, we treat it as perpetually sealed off. Well, unlock it right now. We need to see if the detectives are hiding inside. Um, the only key is held by the Peacekeeper's director. What? Director Yomi has it? Aren't there any other keys? No. The Peacekeeper's director personally manages this area, so he has the only key. 
I see. Guess we don't need to look inside. This conversation never happened. Right. Only the director has the key to this room? There's gotta be some kind of secret here. Right, well, let's take a look inside. like ordinary storage space. The files lining the shelves appear to be mostly old research logs. Everything else is just junk and experimental tools. I guess this has nothing to do with the incident. Nothing here seems to pertain to homunculus research or Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Huh? How do you know that? There's a section with a missing file. He probably already disposed of anything he didn't want others to see. The secret we're looking for won't be here anymore. So, the evidence has already been destroyed. After we finally found the secret lab, too. Wäre auch so einfach gewesen. Huh? There's a folder on the desk. The desk is covered in dust, but the folder isn't. Amaterasu lab map. Huh. I guess it's a map. But it's empty inside. There's nothing else here. Seems like we weren't able to find anything of note. Sheesh. I was hoping this suspicious experimental lab would have a hidden passage or two. For now, let's finish our investigation here and go to another room. Such a pain. But I guess we have to. Chief Yako. This is where he was attacked by the hitman. Damn it all! If I'd only gotten here earlier, I could have changed his fate. Yuma, did you see the hitman's face? No, not clearly. Then how do you know it was the hitman? Because Chief Yako said so himself. Hitman, Fink, the Slaughter Artist. Also, the knife which was used to stab Chief Yako has an F inscribed in it. Ah, the murder weapon always used by Fink, the Slaughter Artist. You know about it? I did some research after we got that note from the killer. I am still a detective, I suppose. He uses his knife to prove to his clients that he committed the murder. Setting that aside, don't you think these blood stains are unnatural? You're right. There are some strange marks, like something brushed against it. Considering the chaos at the time, I don't think it's odd for a mark like this to be here. Look closer. This mark appears to have been made with someone's bloody fingertip. Is it a dying message? Could the chief have done it? Was he trying to tell us something? No. It's more like he was trying to reach for something, rather than write out words. What could he have been reaching for? Master, maybe it's that house plan over there. Maybe 
there's something about this plant. Oh, Vivia! Something's hidden behind the pot! A photo and a map? Isn't this the map of this lab? Could it have been taken from that folder in storage? But why would it be here? As for the photo, I have no idea. The photo shows a young man and a woman. The photo any cup with Yuma. Looks like she's wearing a lab coat. Is she a researcher here? The man is covered with blood. I can't see his face very well. You keep staring at that photo. Did you fall in love with the woman? You really fall for every girl, huh? I'm just checking for clues. This is a clue? You don't know the connection between the case and this photo? I don't. But it has to be a clue. This bloodstain was made by Chief Yako as he tried to hide this behind the pot. He left this clue and made sure the culprit didn't find it. By using the last of his dying strength? He's not dead! Die Frau sieht da wirklich aus wie Yuma, ne? Also sie hat Ähnlichkeit mit ihm. Ist sie vielleicht sogar seine Mutter? Arbeitet sie hier? Das ist das Robot-Lab, wo wir Amma bekommen haben. Hey, listen up. The reason Dr. Wesker died is because he deserved it. It's called karma. He always insulted my research. Serves him right. Serves him right. Oh, sorry. That must have hurt. This is also his fault. They still haven't come back with that armor pal I lent them. I'll take a bath with it once it comes back to me. Oh, but that means I need to start research on waterproofing it. I think I've seen something I shouldn't have. He certainly has a grudge against Dr. Huesca. I guess it's easy to find out what people are really thinking when you're in ghost form. My forte exposes anyone's inner life and encourages them to tell the truth. That being said, it's thanks to this ability that no one comes near me anymore. Which is what makes you special, Yuma. You think so? You're way too naive, Master. It's pretty much a sickness at this point. There's a manual for Amapel. I already know most of the controls, but I should read this. Amapel can be controlled via a special tablet device. Watch the camera feed from Amapel's eyes while you use the key buttons to control it. You can also use the mic to communicate via voice. For safety, the ends of the arms are ball-shaped, but can still be used for actions such as pressing buttons. However, while extending or retracting an arm, the controls for the camera and body do not function. This is to prevent the arm's wires from being tangled when children handle it roughly. It has a load capacity of 100 kilograms and is durable enough to withstand most falls. The sales pitch does say, withstand play with your rowdiest kids and tough enough for an elephant to stand on. It's exactly as the researcher told us. Yeah, there isn't much other information. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! I'm getting excited here! This place. 
place. Gut, die scheinen jetzt nichts groß Interessantes zu erzählen. Oh, wir sind hier fertig. Wir scheinen hier fertig zu sein, ne? Okay, bevor wir das hier jetzt beenden, beende ich einfach den Part. Das war's mit Raincoat für heute. Wenn euch das Video gefallen haben sollte, lasst doch gerne wenn ihr Feedback da. Positiv oder negativ bleibt euch überlassen. Gerne mit einer kleinen Begründung, was euch gefallen hat, was nicht. Und ja, ich würde mich freuen, wenn ihr beim nächsten Mal wieder dabei sein werdet. Wenn wir uns, denke ich mal, mit den anderen besprechen. Über das, was wir herausgefunden haben. Bis dahin. Ciao, ciao, Leute.